Hi everybody, this is Heather from SisterWeeks.com and today I'm bringing you a review of Elle by Envy, which is a really, really, really cute little shaggy boy cut kind of, I don't even know what you call this. It's just a shaggy boy cut, I guess. <laughs> but it's super, super cute and I think that this could be unisex very easily. But it could also be made to be very feminine, just depending on your styling. Um, now, of course, I've messed it up a little bit, and that's just because it's got a lot of layering. And I think that that layering really works best when you mess it up, <laughs> when you make it look really funky. And, you know, if you really felt like it, you could add some styling cream to it to really make that stay in place and make it look kind of structural. But even if you don't, I still think that this is a super, super cute little cut. It's very flattering on. You know, I have a super, super soft jaw. You know, I'm all jowl. <laughs> and yet, I still think this is a very flattering cut. Um, so I think this would be a great one now that the weather's starting to warm up a little bit. Because, um, for instance, I know a lot of people who have really thick hair who don't want to cut it off because, you know, their boyfriends won't let them or whatever. But they just put it up in a pony or a bun and they stick a wig on and it just keeps the back of their neck cool and that sort of thing. Well, this wig has an open cap, so this would be ideal for that sort of situation. Um, very, 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 very cute. Um, the front bang is four inches. I think that the bang on this is perfect though because you can just sweep it off to the side and be done with it. You don't have to mess with it. And unlike a lot of wigs with sort of longer bangs, that wispy bang does not flop in your face. I'm shaking my head as hard as I can. There, it finally went. But even still, it's not annoying or obnoxious. It's just, it's a, it's a good length. And it's thick enough that it's not a bother. Um, the crown layer is 5.5 inches. So as you can see, that hardly reaches the bottom of the wig. Now some websites classify this as a mid-length cut. I think that they're lying through their teeth. This is definitely a short style. I mean, you could probably agree with that. Um, I think that anything from like the base of my earlobes up is a short style. That's, that's how I classify them. Um, the sides are only three and a quarter inches long, so I consider that short. The nape is three inches. Let me show you the back of this. So, lots of layering. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Very, very stacked and choppy. Very cute. Definitely has more body in this region than it does in the back. Oh, I love this cut. I'm so surprised I haven't tried it before because it's really, really cute. Um, I think that this would probably fit most face shapes pretty well, um, especially if you don't consider yourself adventurous but you want to try something short. I mean, this this is so easy to just run your fingers through, and no matter how I mess it up, it still looks kind of cute. Cool stars. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, so open cap construction, but a great thing about this wig, and I've mentioned this in a couple of others with open cap construction, a really great sign, I'm going to turn this light up just a little bit, in an open capped wig is when the wefting is so compact like that. See how close together those wefts are? Those tracks, how close they are? That is a great thing because that means that no matter how you fuss with the wig, you're never going to see through the top of this wig. In addition to that, it's got a little bit of permatease, but not, not, a, not a ton. Most of the permatease is actually at the crown, but it does have just a little bit at the base. But I mean, it's it's very, very slight amount at the base. And more than give it body, it helps obstruct the hairline a bit. So the, the wefting isn't quite as dense in the back, but that's basically to be expected. Um, and if that is something that's of concern to you, a little bit of styling product, like a synthetic friendly hairspray, will help that lay in a fashion and keep it kind of stiff so that way when the wind blows it won't move around too much. But just the nature of the way Alan Eaton 
who's the designer for Envy, um, the way that he makes the, the back in this nape area on these shorter wigs kind of keeps it from fluffing up and, and getting ruffled to the point where you can see the wefts because they they make the, the hair a little stiffer in the back. And some of you who have ordered these short Envy wigs, like for instance an Angie might know what I'm talking about, the hair is a little stiffer in the back. The reason why they do that is, is so that way when the wind blows, you can't see the tracks. So it does serve a purpose when it's like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you one more thing about this. It has a very soft felt here at the nape, which is really, really comfortable. And it is adjustable. It stretches a ton, um, though I wouldn't consider this to be um, the stretchiest of MV wigs. <laughs> um, there are some that will stretch considerably more, but this one um, does stretch enough that it's comfortable on my head and I have a 23 and a half inch circumference. Um, but if you're, if you're concerned about it, definitely send me your measurements prior to ordering because I'm all about preventing returns. <laughs> it's less frustrating on you and it's less frustrating on me. So I think it's a good goal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right back on. This is literally a shake and go style. It is snug on me, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. And as you can see, even when I haven't touched it, it's still pretty cute, except for when that one hair was like, huh. <laughs> but aside from alfalfa, we're looking good. So this is L in Cinnamon Raisin. And before I go, I just want to discuss the color really quick. Cinnamon Raisin is a really beautiful color. It has um, a rooted medium brown. And on top of that, it's got kind of a natural um, medium auburn and the Envy light brown as a highlight shade. So there you go. This is L by Envy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.